Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to try to answer the question, does stevia break a fast? And in order, in, in order to do that, I'll give you a framework um, where you can think about, well, what are your goals with fasting and will stevia interfere with any of those goals? And so it's going to depend a little bit on you and what your goals are and so forth, but I'll go through each of these common goals with fasting and how stevia might impact them. And I'll even share some results from a personal experiment that I did related to this as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So what are some of the goals you might have with fasting? So I'm going to go through six of them, but you could have more. So the six I'm looking at specifically are reducing body fat, improving blood sugar, improving insulin, boosting ketones, controlling hunger, and boosting autophagy. Um, so let's just briefly discuss each one, and then I'll share a little bit of research and uh, some personal research <laughs> related to some of this as well. All right, so what if you're trying to reduce body fat? and you have stevia while you're fasting. Is that gonna have impacted in a significant way? Well, I don't think there's any like super great research about that, but just physiologically, there's not any reason to think that it would have a big impact. As long as you continue fasting, probably stevia is not gonna really interfere with your ability to continue burning body fat, not in a really significant or dramatic way. Why do I say as long as you continue fasting? Because stevia can, as a sweetener, can stimulate cravings, make you hungry, make you want to go have more sweet stuff. And so you might quit your fast early. So that is the biggest caveat in all of this. If you're able to continue fasting despite using it, then it's probably not like a big problem. All right, so what about blood sugar or insulin? So blood sugar is maybe the most interesting one. I mean, that actually has some research and I did a little self-experiment. So what if you're trying to improve your blood sugar and you use stevia while fasting? Does stevia raise your blood sugar? Does stevia lower your blood sugar? So kind of interesting that um, I looked at one research study where apparently using stevia actually lowered people's blood sugar or helped them have better blood sugar levels. But it sounded like they were using like the relatively unprocessed stevia leaf as opposed to this very fine white powder that we use uh, most of the time. So it's probably not the same result because it has some other nutrients and things in it that, that, that our stevia sweetener doesn't have. So if you were to use the actual plant or whatever, maybe it would improve your blood sugar. But another um, study that I looked at showed no difference in blood sugar with the use of stevia. So it's more likely in that, in that uh, bucket. Um, so probably stevia is not going to have any significant impact on your blood sugar. So don't worry about it. If you're trying to improve blood sugar through fasting with stevia, great. What about, oh yeah, and, and real quick, so I did a little experiment on myself a while back, and so the results were, it was, a, it was after um, a couple days, I'm just scrolling down to where I have that written here, um, I, I, I was on my second day of an extended fast, and <laughs> I was a little crazy, so what I did was I checked my blood sugar before I started, it was 49, which sounds low, but like during a prolonged fast, that can be normal. Um, and then I took some stevia, like a couple servings, I think it was. And then after a half hour, my blood sugar was 55. And after an hour, my blood sugar was 53. So as you can see, even though that's like a slight increase, it's not, not statistically significant. It's not like a significant difference because they're all kind of down in a normal or below normal <laughs> range. So that's blood sugar. Um, so the next one I was going to talk about is insulin. So the bottom line is it doesn't look like stevia significantly um, affects insulin levels. There's a couple uh, studies I looked at that uh, showed it didn't significantly uh, affect those insulin levels. Now, uh, there is some like animal research when they put a bunch of stevia on some mice pancreas cells <laughs> in the context of high glucose levels, then there was some, some insulin secretion. So that's not that doesn't really fit the context of when you're fasting for a variety of different reasons, but yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So let's talk about, um, ketones. So what if you're trying to boost your ketone levels through fasting, um, and you use stevia? Well, I don't think there's much research on it and I don't think it's going to have a big impact. <laughs> Remember when I did that self experiment with the blood sugar? Well, I'm, I'm confident that my ketone levels were very high throughout that as well. I think I checked them just with like the urine strips, but um, so no, I don't think stevia is going to affect that much. So what about, what about if you're trying to control hunger by using, by fasting, you know, fasting can help regulate hunger, kind of help get hunger under control. And what if you then use stevia? Well, this is kind of the biggest question mark, um, because whenever you use sweeteners during fasting, it's going to probably make you crave stuff 
more of the same sweetener, more of a different sweetener, more of something else that's sweet. Um, and so that's where it could kind of throw you off your game and make it harder to kind of control hunger during that fast and after that fast, very possibly. So whether it's fasting or like a ketogenic diet or something, if you're using a lot of sweeteners, it has all those potential downsides. So that's kind of the biggest issue with that. Um, all right. And then autophagy. What about autophagy? So autophagy is that cellular spring cleaning, you know, where you're like recycling proteins inside the cells in your body and stuff like that. And fasting boosts autophagy very powerfully. Um, if you use something like stevia, is that going to interfere with autophagy? Maybe. Nobody really knows exactly how much, um, but probably not enough to be that big of a deal as long as you're doing a full-fledged fast otherwise. So that's kind of the bottom line. So as you can see from that assessment, you can still get a bunch of health benefits from fasting, even if you're using something like stevia, as long as you're able to continue fasting, which is the challenge, right, when you're having sweet stuff and it might make you have some cravings. If you want to see some more examples of what may or may not break a fast, I've got a pretty extensive video here that goes over a bunch of those. Um, and if you want to learn about some more benefits of intermittent fasting, here's a video that goes over nine key benefits of intermittent fasting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.